Ageless videos are flooding Instagram right now and countless pages have grown hundreds of thousands of followers in less than 60 days. All of these pages have a couple of things in common and today I'm going to be exposing those things as well as showing you a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can make videos like these pages. Before we get started, why should you listen to me? Well, first of all, my name is Joe. I own the pages millionaire.aesthetic. I've grown them to 200k on Instagram and over 500k on TikTok in less than a year. But not only have I done this for myself, I've also helped countless others achieve similar results through my Discord server including the page aesthetic virtue which is currently sitting at over 500,000 followers and they've only been going for a couple of months and i'm going to be exposing the exact strategies that helped aesthetic virtue have the growth that they did before we jump straight into the tutorial what do all of these pages have in common first of all they all have a strong and solid theme which one helps to keep them within a niche two helps brand the page and three makes it look nice and professional second of all they capitalize on the trends that are going on within their niche they do is to get the best views possible and have as much growth as they can while that trend is still a trend. Thirdly, they will have a deep, realistic and custom AI voice that I'm going to show you how to create in the video. And yes, it is the one that sounds like this. Keep watching to learn how to make this voice. Fourth, they all use trending and or emotionally fitting background music. And if you stay until the end, I might just have a free treat for you that will help you with this. And the fifth and final thing that they all do is they all copy from each other and other pages. But more on that later. Now you know exactly how these pages do it, I'm gonna run you through a step-by-step -step guide on how you can use these principles we've just talked about and apply them in your own videos. Now I'm gonna go over to my laptop because that is where I like to edit my videos. However, if you just have a phone or you want to use your phone, this tutorial will still work and you can still do the exact same thing from your phone. So first of all, we need a script to be able to go and create our video. You can use ChatGPT to help you create a totally original script if you want. However, like I mentioned before, all of these pages and myself included, we sort of copy from each other, take scripts from each other and things like this. This is one of the key points that really help people blow up their pages as they can use things that have proven to have worked for other people and take it and make it their own. So I use Instagram and TikTok to find my scripts. I'll just find a script and the things to look out for is if it has performed well for them. So as you can see, this one on my laptop here actually has 40,000 likes, which means it's performed well. I will then look out for whether I personally like it or not and whether I think it would suit my page. And the last sort of thing I look out for is if there's any mistakes in the video or I think there's potential to make it better. If not, it's fine. I will still use it sometimes and just put it in my own voice to brand the content. However, if there is some mistakes, it's even better because it means I can go and make this video that has already done well even better than it already is. So once I've found one that I like, like I've done here on Instagram, I'll just go and save it. So that way I can come back to it when I want to go and edit later. So this particular script is from a page called Quote Haven. I think this is the first time I've tried a script from there. So I found this script. I thought it worked pretty well. It's got 40,000 likes for him. And also there was a few little mistakes in there that I can go and adjust to make it even better. So once you've got your script, you're just going to go and copy link and you are then gonna go and download it using Snap Insta, which is a free tool. As you can see, I've already gone and done this. So you then press download. Okay, so once you've downloaded the video, we then need to get the transcription. I don't wanna sit here and write out manually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to Google Chrome as this only works with Google Chrome, and I'm gonna use a website called Descript. So we're just going here and I'm gonna create a new project, add a video project, and then I'm going to go and select the file here, which is the one I downloaded. And it's gonna start going in. Once this file has been added, as you can see, you can press insert into a script and press transcribe. And we're gonna get the transcription for this so then we can go and make our adjustments to it. Okay, perfect. So now as you can see, it takes about a minute, but we now have the transcript for the video and we can then go and put this into 11 labs. By the way, all of these tools I mentioned, I will just link in the description to make it nice and easy for you guys. So you don't have to go and type them up yourselves. You can just press a link and find it nice and easy. So as I said, I'm just gonna go and copy this whole script. Sometimes you do have to be careful because some things aren't fully transcribed properly, but this is something that you can just go in and adjust uh, afterwards very easily. So I'm just gonna copy this and we're then gonna go back over to Safari and go to 11 Labs. Now, before we go and put it into 11 Labs, this is a pretty key step and one that a lot of people probably aren't gonna be too happy with me putting out there to the world, but I'm gonna show you guys how to create your own custom deep voice like Vorzen and some of these other pages. Now, if you do wanna create the exact voice that a lot of these pages are using, like Vorzen, like Wi-Fi Aesthetics, like myself, we are actually gonna to need to pay for 11 Labs. It isn't much, we can just get the cheapest option. I think it's like $5 a month. If you're not willing to pay for it, don't worry. I'm gonna be suggesting some ways to get around it later. The reason we do have to pay for 11 Labs and we can't just use the free version 
is because we need to be using something called instant voice cloning, which you can't use on the free version. The plan that you need is $5 a month, but it's safe to say that once you've grown these pages, the earning potential is a lot more than $5 a month. If you are not, the alternative is to either use some of the free voices that you can go and find. I'll show you where you can find some free voices now really quickly. So if you don't want to pay for it and you want to do it totally free, you can go to the voice library up here and there is a tons of free voices that you can use. However, if you want the sort of deep voice that everyone uses that sounds really cool, we are going to need to pay for it so you can clone different voices. Right, so if you're willing to pay for it, you're going to go into the voice lab and press add generative or cloned voice. And we're going to be using something called instant voice cloning. Now, a lot of these pages would have originally cloned their voices from YouTube. If you go and type in stoic quotes, you'll find some pretty cool voices that you can go and clone. If you don't want exactly like Vorzone or like Wi-Fi aesthetics, then you can go and find one from here and get your own sort of voice. However, if you want to clone their voice exactly, I'm going to show you a way to do so. So to go and clone, let's say, Vorzen's voice exactly, as I know a lot of people are after this, what I've gone and done is I've collected a minute's worth of Vorzen's content, as we need a roughly a minute to be able to clone a voice in Eleven Labs. What I have then done is I have downloaded this, so I've already done, gone ahead and done this, but I've downloaded it, and I've then gone into Eleven Labs and gone to something called Vocal Remover. So it's a voice isolation uh, AI where you can isolate voices. So I, as you can see, I've gone to remove the music as when we are trying to clone a voice, we don't want any background sound as it will mess things up. So now if I go ahead and play this, you'll be able to hear it. It is sort of just the voice isolated. Fully naked British woman gets into a taxi driven by a Chinese driver. Okay, cool. So that gives you an idea. So you can just take any of their videos or any of the videos of the people you want to clone and use that voice. So now I've got this voice. I'm just going to go ahead and save it. So once you've cloned this voice, we are just going to go into Eleven Labs, go to Instant Voice Cloning and give it a name. So let's call it Vorzen, why not? And what we're then going to do is we're going to go and drag this audio into here. Once you've done that, you just simply press accept and press add voice. And as you can see, we now have the voice. So now I've got the voice downloaded. I'm just going to go over to use. Okay, so once we've completed these steps, we should now have our own sort of custom voice that we can then go and use. It will be similar to the one we cloned. It might not be exactly the same, but it'll be pretty similar. And it should sound something like this. Please subscribe and smash that like button. Okay, perfect. So now we've got the script. We've got the voice. We can go and input this script into Eleven Labs and make our sound. So I'm just going to paste this in as I had it copied from earlier. Remember earlier I said there's little adjustments you might want to make to the script. Now is the time to do it. So for example, one thing I noticed when I was watching this earlier is use because and because really close to each other. So something that I think will make it sound a little bit better is instead of having because and because, have because she was dying due to cancer. Okay, another thing to play around with, this is something that you're just going to get better at as you sort of use Eleven Labs and make custom voices more. But if you want there to be a bit of a break or a pause, you're just going to go and put a full stop at the end. And also, if you want to emphasize a sort of word, if you put a capital letter at the start, it's really going to emphasize that word. Once again, these are things that you'll start to learn as you start doing it more, and you can play around with it, change the pacing of your scripts, add certain emphasis on certain words. Um, but yeah, just this, this is something that will come with time. Okay, so now we've got our script. I've made a few adjustments to it. I've added a few full stops where I want it to sort of be a bit slower. We're then going to go and press generate. Okay, perfect. So our script is generated and it sounds pretty good just to show you guys sort of what it sounds like. Um, this is the start of it. One day, a girlfriend gave a challenge to her boyfriend to live a day without her. Voice sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty similar to Vorzen's. Okay, so now you're going to go back to CapCut and open it up in a new project, and we are going to add our voice. Cool, so we've now got our script. The next thing we need is clips to go along with the script. I have my own file with clips, so I'm just going to go and import this. If you guys want to use my personal file and use the clips that I have, I will leave it linked in the description. You can go and check it out. But if you don't want to use my file and you want to find your own clips, you can find sort of clips everywhere from Instagram to a site called Pexels, and I'll show you guys how to do this later. Okay, right, so for this specific script, they're sort of talking a lot about a girlfriend and a boyfriend. So I think it'll be perfect for me to go and get some clips from a place called Plexels, as I can search up specific clips and find the ones that relate to what they're saying. So this is the website called Pexels. Once again, I'll leave all of these linked in the description, but you're just gonna go to videos and search up what you want. So I want a girlfriend and a boyfriend or things that resemble that, as that is what the script is about, especially at the start. Okay, right, so as you can see, we found our first clip. We need to make sure that the ratio is uh, 9 by 16 as that is what it would be for a phone and that's what you want for short form content. So we found our first clip and now we're just going to go and do this throughout the whole thing using some from my folder and using some from Pexels. I'll see you guys when that is all done.
Okay, right, so I just took some time making sure I found all of the right clips. This one specifically, because it is a story, is gonna have a lot of clips from sort of Plexals and my folder that relate to the things that they are saying inside the story. I've also gone and added in my logo. Once again, this is optional. I also make my logo a little bit see-through by putting the opacity down. Um, yeah, just so it doesn't affect the video too much as like I say, it's a story and there's a lot of things going on where the logo could get in the way. All right, so the next step is to now go and add auto captions. So I'm just gonna go over to text press auto captions and create. This is gonna create us some captions. They aren't always 100% accurate, but we can go in and adjust them. So once we've done this, the next thing that then is important and some of these bigger pages do is to help brand their page. They have a certain type of font or text that they use. So I would suggest going and finding your own original font if you can. I use a pretty basic one, just classic two. I then uh, make sure the first letter of every word is uppercase by pressing this here. I also put a stroke on it and i turn the stroke down to 20 thickness and i put a bit of a shadow on it and that's how i do my text copy me if you want but i would suggest trying to find your own sort of original font as once again this is another slight thing that can help brand your page another thing to note is i put my font size down to seven most of the bigger pages have a smaller font there's a few reasons for this one because if the font is small people have to pay a bit more attention to read it and two the main reason is because it won't get in the way of the clips and get in the way of the b-roll in the back of the video so once we've done this we're just going to go in and adjust all the captions so they're not all on two lines like this right so now the next thing to do is to go and chop all of this up so i'm just going to go into captions and i'm going to cut it so that everything isn't on two lines i never really want anything on two lines i always want it to be one line so for example one day a girlfriend gave a challenge to their boyfriend gave a challenge to their boyfriend. I want, I'll cut after going and listen to it and cut it while there's a bit of a break, but I think that should work. So I'm just gonna do this throughout. I won't bore you guys with this whole process, but you can go and do this yourself. Another slight thing to note is I always try and match up my text with the cut in the clip. So as you can see, there's a cut in a clip and it will always match up. This just makes it look nice and clean and there's no split second where it's cutting out and you can see the old text of the new clip is just cut and it's all together. Okay, right, so the text is all done. As you can see, it's all been chopped up. So none of it is on two lines and it's all in the middle of the screen. So now the video is looking all good. We've got the auto captions, we've got the footage, we've got the script. However, what does every viral video need? It needs some music in the background. Now what you can do is you could just go and copy the music that you took from the script if you really like it and you think it really fits the vibe of the video. If it's not, then you can find your own one. When I'm trying to find sounds, I'll typically go to TikTok to try and find sounds and I'll look in the comments. If they post under their own original sound, I'll look in the comments to see if people are asking for the song and you might be able to find out that way. However, if you can't, there's an alternative way to do it. It's a little bit embarrassing, but you can use Google and the humming thing. Um, if you don't know what that is, I know we've all seen the advert probably a thousand times. I'll put up a screen recording of what it is, but essentially you just go into Google and you can hum a song and it, it works pretty well to be fair. So if you really like a song and you hear it and you really like it and you want to use it in one of your videos and you can't find it anywhere, the last resort is humming to Google and you should be able to find that song. However, I did mention in the beginning that if you made it towards the end, you might get a free gift and that free gift is going to be my folder full of sounds. So over the last month, I've been collecting a lot of sounds and I've actually got a folder filled with sounds in a Google Drive. So I'm going to stick this in the description. You guys can go and find that. There's some good sounds in here that you can use. Um, yeah, once again, totally free. So go and check that out if you would like. But I've actually already gone and picked out a sound that I think will work quite well with this video. Once again, this is a process of trial and error. I'll test different sounds, see what works, see what doesn't work, and just basically do it until I get one that fits. But okay, so I've gone and added the sound. I don't want to play it because I don't want to get copyrighted or anything like that. But the next thing to then do is to make sure that the sound isn't way too loud. Like you don't want it to be way too loud, louder than the voice. Voice. you want it to be pretty low once again you can use your own judgment for this a way that i use to judge it is if i'm struggling i'll go and play a tiktok or an instagram video to see if the sound of mine is similar sort of levels and if the sound of the music and the voice is once again similar sort of levels okay so we're pretty much done we're getting close towards the end but a last sort of thing some of these pages do to try and brand their page once again is they add some filters and adjustments to make their videos look a bit different and original for example warzons is very dark and it's black and white so i'm going to show you guys how to do it exactly like warzon today so what you're going to want to do is go back into CapCut and go into the adjustments and you are going to press adjust custom adjustment and you're going to drag it across the whole clip once you've then done this what we're going to do is going to go into basic we are going to turn the saturation down all the way so that way it's black and white like our Vorzen has his videos put the brightness to be at minus 15 so i'm just going to do this all the way until it's minus 15 put the contrast to four put the shadow to minus three and then this last step is optional. I don't think Vorzen does it, but I'm going to put this up to 10. It just sort of creates a dark border around the edge, which I think gives it a bit of a cool look. Once again, these aren't Vorzen's exact settings or anyone's exact settings.
things. You can go and play around with these yourself, but I'm just showing you how to get a similar sort of vibe for your video. Another thing a lot of these pages have been doing recently is adding these sort of particles over the top. So once again, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. I literally went on YouTube and searched up uh, particles on a black background and I downloaded a video. Uh, once again, this exact one is inside my clip pack, but what you're then gonna do is you're just going to extend it across the whole video. So if you need to add it in multiple times, then that's fine. Cut it to the point where it's perfect. And then as you can see, it's now created a black thing across the whole screen, which we don't want. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna drag this to fill the screen so it fully fills the screen. Perfect, and we're then gonna turn the opacity down to whatever you want it to be, really. Uh, bear in mind, the video is already quite dark because obviously you've played around with those settings. So I think something like 15, you can't really see it when it's 15. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and play around with this until we find somewhere where it looks good. Okay, so after playing around with it for literally like 30 seconds, I have found a number that seems to work and that number being 32. However, as you can see, this makes the video a whole lot darker. So I'm actually gonna go back into the adjustments. If you do wanna add this overlay and have like dust flying around or whatever, then make sure you go into the adjustments and change this back because you don't want it to be too, too dark. So I'm just gonna turn up the brightness uh, to minus seven. So I'll put it in half uh, and I'm gonna half all of these settings. Um, yeah, so that way it shouldn't be too, too dark. But once again, you can play around with this and figure something out that works for you. And that is pretty much us done. We've covered every single step to create a reel like this. I think it looks pretty good. I'm actually gonna be posting this on my pages, millionaire.aesthetic. So if you guys would like to see the finished product with the music and everything, as I can't put the music on this YouTube video, otherwise I get copyrighted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description, as I'm gonna be posting it on my Instagram. So that way you can go and see the finished product and you can see how it performed as well. So now the last few final steps would be to go and export this. I would then personally airdrop it to my phone as I post everything from my phone. And then that's about it. Now all you need to do is be consistent post one to three times every day and i'm sure you're going to see some good growth with your account if you stay at it long enough now if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments as i reply to every single one of my comments if you did find this video valuable in any way i'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like on this video and if you did enjoy this one i'd highly suggest you go and check out this video over here as i talk about some tips that are going to help you to get from zero to 10k instagram followers in a week and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe with those post notifications turned on so you don't miss anything that we have got coming